Dublin's Hit Music Station FM 104. It is the Strawberry Alarm Clock for a Friday morning. And, you know, sometimes we like to see what's coming up on the TV over the next over the weekend. Yeah, Mark. so you, you call on a professional uh, who works for one of those TV companies. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Yeah. You'd think you'd find somebody who knows everything about TV. But no, I thought it'd be better to have somebody who has nothing else to do all day except watch TV. They know better than some TV critic. Good morning, Podgy. What's the story, woman? Sorry, nice. man. Two, two, one, two. How's me levels? <laughs> yeah, your levels are great. You're coming through all right, yeah? You're coming through loud and clear. Now, you want me to do the telly? If I could eat telly, I'd eat telly. Right, well, all we want to know is what's on the telly over the weekend that we should watch and maybe what should we avoid or, you know, your, your, your picks. Today, Friday. Okay, good. Here right? we go. Now, I know this is going to be hard to It's called 10 o'clock. Homes Under the Hammer is on. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that's always rapid because they always, you know, put the wrong music with the pictures and stuff, you know? <laughs> yeah. Which is always good, guy. Like Listen. the house is in bits and they'll play this old house. You know what I mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you can drag ourselves away from that. Yeah. 10 past 10 on Channel 4. Yeah. Bloyd Spirit. It's a, it's a picture. You should watch this picture! Okay. Picture. Right. right. Rex Harrison is a bloke with two wives <laughs> and one of them is dead. And then this old boy who looks like Stephen Fry in a wig comes in. <laughs> uh, it's a classic, man. It's a good old-fashioned I'm on the scratcher pitcher. <laughs> scratcher flicks, we can call them. Scratcher flick, exactly. Yeah. Uh, 11.50 on RTE 2. Yeah. Fade Street, part of Dublin City that's waiting for a nuclear disaster to happen. <laughs> Can you give us a, a critique on Fade Street? Because I'm not too sure what it's about. Um, have you got the bleeper on the ready? Yeah, go on. <laughs> bags in a flat. <laughs> <laughs> How come they don't write that in the papers? They should. They should. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before that, lads, before that, that's getting me nuts. I'm getting me nerves out now. Podgy soap watch. You've got Emmerdale. Yeah. Right! <laughs> a soap opera about a part of Yorkshire where everyone has a Cockney accent. Yeah. <laughs> Total cat. Right. And then after that, at half seven, or seven thirty in decimal. Yeah. Uh, Coronation Street. Right. The Cardi. Now, I, wa- I watch the Cardi because what I like about it is it's like it's real life, you know? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. So, h- here- here's what's happening this week, right? Yeah. Snape. The bloke who was pretending to be a school teacher who married one of the girls who used to be his pupils yeah. and then was put in jail for kidnapping the other pupil mm. and then hid the body of the bloke he was pretending to be when he was pretending to be somebody else yeah. and then cracked a board who was blackmailing them over it with a hammer on the back of the head yeah. and dumped their body in a convenient tram crash then goes and fesses up to his ma and then killed her by accident. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, it happens. It could easily happen. It could, yeah, it's very true. He is one soup bowl away from bread and water at the moment. <laughs> right? Yeah. The, 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 the trail is leading up to him. Right. But tonight it's um, tonight it's a different story. It's, um, you know, the alcoholic Bucky? Yeah. He was married to the ex hooker who married her on the deathbed and then lived. Because <laughs> yeah. he was saved by her ex husband who now works for him. Well, the ex husband is trying to break up the marriage by sending him on the gargle. <laughs> <laughs> See that's the thing about That's the thing about Meanwhile his sister Yeah Who was out on bail From jail for um, murder She's uh, <laughs> now in hospital again With her head cracked in By somebody else Who was killed in a crime crime <laughs> And pretending It was the board Who did the other crime Who, who married the bloke In the pub Who pretended he was With him when he wasn't <laughs> You've Keith who doesn't like biscuits Right uh, uh, and now he's going out with the board who used to work behind the bar who was with the bloke who's married to the board who's in jail for cracking the head over the board who mar- murdered the husband the boyfriend who pretended that Gail Flat murdered her husband while he set the boat on fire <laughs> yeah, I love that about Carl it's just everyday life it's you just, know yeah, it's just, so it's just everyday life yeah it's lovely it's a small street somewhere <sighs> near Manchester right here uh, yeah. half eight BBC yeah. One right Good evening, good evening, good evening. Salutations and indeed valedictions to the last in the series of QI. Stephen you like Fry. that? Oh, I love a bit of QI. I too. love a bit of QI. Yeah. Do you know your man on that with the curly hair? Uh, Peter, da- da- something, Alan Davis. Alan Davis. Do you know he bit off a tramp's ear? He bit off a tramp's ear? Yeah. How hungry was he? <laughs> he was coming out of some big club 
uh, some gentleman's club in London and he was a bit jarred and the tramp said something go on how you doing missus and annoyed him and he went over and bit off his ear I find that hard to fathom I'm telling you look it up it happened I find that did he go down with it no, I think he was he was in trouble, but I don't think he did. Was there a big hearing? Hey! hey! <laughs> oh. Oh. Anyway, oh. that brings me nicely along to me TV Muppet of the Week. TV Muppet of the Week. Nine o'clock. <laughs> I think it's Channel Four. Right. That bleed me, you Heston Blumendales. <laughs> yeah. Heston Blue and the part of this war fish war thingy. Yeah. Heston Blumendales is making trout candy floss <laughs> and sea cucumber tea. Is trout candy floss not the name of Louis Walsh's new girl band? I thought that was a problem with older women. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, i got to say two words to you, Heston Blumendales. <laughs> Smoked cock! End off! <laughs> you muppet! <laughs> Oh, this is very good, Podgy. FX, that's a channel apparently now. Okay, yeah. At 10 o'clock. <laughs> it says here um, it's a new series of True Blood. Right. Now, I don't know if that's new, new, or new to one of those crappy channels. Do you know what I mean? I hear you. Yeah. But there's always a few knockers in it anyway, so have a flick. <laughs> you know? Have a flick. Uh, now, I've now got a little section called I Wouldn't Touch It With Yours. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't touch it with yours. Uh, 20 to 2, UTV. Yeah. Kangaroo Jack. It's cat! <laughs> they should call it Kangaroo Cat! It's pretty bad, isn't it? It's brutal! <laughs> if you have kids you really don't like, make them watch it. Okay. <laughs> Half 3, after that. Star Wars, Attack of the Clones, Huey <laughs> McGregor with the Force, that's cool. Have you ever had an, an Attack of the Clones, Bodgy? Oh, I, I tell you what, I had the Empire strike back one night. Oh, I tell you. Do you know the Empire? It's a good normally. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, Fragrant River, I'm telling you. <laughs> Hong Kong! <laughs> Seven o'clock that night, BBC and TV3. Yeah. The Magicians. Oh, is that good? Look shite. <laughs> <laughs> Eight o'clock, Sky Arts 2. Yeah. Lab OM. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a simply fantastic production featuring Theodore and Lackey as Rudolfo and Hibli Germava as Mimi, conducted by Andreas Nelson. That's a must, lad. Put a heavy pencil on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't find that very amusing. Sorry, Podgy. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, 8.15, TV3. Yeah? Ray Foley, take me out. Jesus, if ever there was an offer, I couldn't refuse. <laughs> <laughs> the Strawberry Alarm Clock's new TV critic, Podgy, well done. Good <laughs> you! The all-new Strawberry Alarm Clock with Jim, Jim and Mark. FM 104.